Hello and welcome to MIP TV. Um, with me as always, the man who uh, who has got a polymathic knowledge of books and is going to do another book review, it's Mr Bob Cook. How are you doing, Bob? <laughs> Very well. It's book number 10, Rory. It's 10, isn't it? It's double 10. figures. Double figures. There should be a bingo <laughs> call to that, but I'm not sure what 10 is. You know, anyway, not politically correct anyway. So, yeah, so um, you've got an interesting book today, Bob, haven't you? It's a dictionary. Yes, a, a good friend of mine, Tony Tilney, passed away. Um, I can't quite remember when, but, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He started training with me in the middle 1980s. Uh, in 1998, he wrote a well-known book called Dictionary of Transactionalysis. And his name was Tony Tilney, T I L N E Y, and uh, I knew him for a long time. He was always talking to me about writing a book, and I, I'm not sure whether I said write a book or whatever gave him the idea of a dictionary. But it was a fabulous idea. It's really the uh, I think the most comprehensive book in terms of a dictionary in the transaction analysis world. Very succinct, very precise, and uh, very comprehensive. Oh, very good. And um, what's, what's the attraction, do you think, for students or practitioners having a dictionary of TA? How is that useful? Very useful. Because Eric Byrne, the creator of transaction analysis, uh, trained in psychoanalysis himself. And uh, from about 1953, he started moving away from uh, mainstream psychoanalysis. And he had a, a passion on demystifying psycho psychoanalytical language. And so when he created his transaction analysis movement or model, if you like, of the personality and then subsequent whole school, he had um, really a colloquial language for a lot of his uh, very complex ideas. So the ego state model was parent, adult, child. He had scripts, he had games. He had rackets, and they're all colloquial terms. So this dictionary really explains what each of these terms means and links them to the psychoanalytical heritage. Well, it sounds like a really interesting book to have, certainly if you're a student and you want to kind of get all the, have all the terms in your hand and go through them for your yeah. assignments, or even if you're, just, uh, if you're just a practitioner who wants to kind of... Uh, make sure they've got hold of the theory and they can just very quickly go to it, thumb through the pages and find the theory. So as always, Bob, we'll put um we'll put a, a link in the comments bar below where you can uh, download the book from. And also at the end, we'll, um, we'll pop a picture of the, uh, the book in so people can exactly see what they're looking for. So when they click the link below, the, uh, the two things match up. So, uh, right. So that sounds sounds really good, Bob. So as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Willie.